my Tamil Biden and Ashwin Sasha from here in the European Saber Pool. Glory to God is the highest standard, peace for them and good health. Glory to God in the highest standard, peace for them and good health. The Lord opened out my lips and my mouth to make sure that I was fine. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Please let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Savior, save us. 
glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, Amen. Only be God, to Son, and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation is going to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. Who without change did be the man that was crucified? O Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, said. presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. O Son of God, who art wonderful in thy saints, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. For the Lord our God is a great God, the great King above all gods. O Son of God, who art wonderful in thy saints, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. In his hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. O Son of God, who art wonderful in the saints, save us to sing to thee. Alleluia. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands from the dry land. O Son of God, who art wonderful in thy saints, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. Wisdom, let us attend.
crown us with beautiful stones. You land an army of martyrs to Christ, and with the angels in the never fading light, you found Christ, the never setting sun. Together with those who suffer with you, Holy General Andrew, ever pray to him that he may save our souls. The only Creator who with wisdom profound mercifully orders all things and give us that which is useful for men. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of thy servants who have fallen asleep, for they have placed their trust in the our maker and fashioner and our God. With us Wisdom, the Prokeem, 
moving on in the third tone. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden, for behold, henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. And in the sixth tone, their soul shall dwell with the blessed. Their soul shall dwell with the blessed. The reading from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you unless I speak to you either by revelation by knowledge, by prophesying, or by teaching, even things without life, whether food or harp, when they make a sound, unless they make a distinction in sounds, how will it be known what is piped or played? For if the trumpet makes an uncertain sound, who will prepare for battle? So likewise you, unless you utter by the tongue words easy to understand, how will it be known what is spoken? for you will be speaking into the air. There are, it may be so, many kinds of languages in the world. None of them is without significance. Therefore, if I do not know the meaning of the language, I shall be a foreigner to him who speaks, and he who speaks will be a foreigner to me. Even so, you, since you are zealous for spiritual gifts, let it be for the edification of the church that you seek to excel. Therefore, let him who speaks in a tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is the conclusion then? I will pray with my spirit, and I will also pray with understanding. I will sing with the spirit, and I will also sing with understanding. Otherwise, if you bless with the spirit, how will he who occupies the place of the uninformed say amen at your giving of thanks, since he does not understand what you say? For you indeed give thanks well, but the other is not edified. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all, yet in the church I would rather speak five words with my understanding, that I may teach others also that ten thousand words in a tongue. Brethren, Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first roots of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive, but each one in his own order. Christ the first fruits, afterward those who are Christ at his coming. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death, for he has put all things under his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that he who puts all things under him is accepted. Now when all things are made subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him, who put all things under him, that God may be all in all. And to your spirit, in the eighth tone, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou in the ark of thy sanctification. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. to David a sure oath from which he will not turn back. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Blessed
Blessed are they whom thou hast chosen and taken thyself to the O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. And let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to said to the Jews who had believed in him, This is the will of the one who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and this one I will raise up on the last day. At this the Jews began to murmur concerning him, because he had said, I am the bread which came down out of heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? whose father and mother we know, how then does he say, I have come down out of heaven? Therefore Jesus answered them, Do not murmur among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and this one I will raise up at the last. Kyle, Jordan and Matthew, Natalie and Elias, Kirsten and Justin, and 
the children to be born to them. For the Archpriest Paul and Amy Felicitas on their anniversary, the Brotherhood of St. Herman's Monastery, and all victims of violence, disease, and disaster here and throughout the world, and those who help and serve them. And for the pardon and remission of our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present, with thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom for unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship. The 
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of angels. Amen. Again, yet again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thou must save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Again, enough times we fall down before thee, and beseech thee, who art good and lovest mankind. Looking down upon our petition, that was cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Grant us to stand blameless and without condemnation before thy holy altar. Grant also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them always to worship thee blamelessly with fear and love, and without condemnation to partake of thy holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of thy heavenly kingdom. Wisdom that guarded always by thy might. We may glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages.
servants of God, Harold and Elaine, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, the Archpriest Paul and Amy Felicitas, celebrating their wedding anniversary, may the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, and you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That we Of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, 
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten and begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and he became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, Lord, giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand the right. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy sacrifice in Mercy, a peace, a sacrifice of prayer. The love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you. And with your spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is meet and right to hymn thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks to thee and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who brought us from non-existence into being, and when we have fallen away, this raised us up again, and is not ceased to do all things, until thou hast brought us up to heaven, and hast endowed us with the kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee, and to thine only begotten Son, and to thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know, and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy, which thou hast taken to accept at our hands, though there stand by thee thousands of archangels, and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim, and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, who soar aloft borne on their wings, Singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these angelic powers, O Master, who love us mankind, we also cry loud and say, Holy art thou and thou holy, thou and thine only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou and thou holy, and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved the world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, who when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was given up, or rather, gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, most pure and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks and blessed it, hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples, apostles, saying, Think, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Oh. Which is shed for you and for many for the remission of.
Linda, Mary, Kathy, Joanne, Nancy, Mark, Matthew, Jack, Deborah, Michael, David, Holly, Jesse, Nicholas, Vivian, Rula, Rhonda, James, Drew, Anastasia, Elsie, and Richard, Michael, Virginia, Sarah, Joseph, Victoria, Darlene, Susan, Rachel, Gregory, John, Julie, Ronald, Loretta, David, Juliana, Zachary, Mark, Christina, Tracy, Elaine, Teresa, Ethan, Nicholas, Mary and Michael, Rachel and Alexander, Lydia and Moses, Molly and John, Stephanie and Kyle, Jordan and Matthew, Natalie and Eli, Kirsten and Justin, the children to be born to them, the St. Hermans, the Master Brotherhood, also the Archbishop Paul and Amy, victims of virus, disease and disaster here and throughout the world, and those who help and serve them, and all those whom we have in mind, and grant that with one mouth and with one heart, we may glorify and praise by the honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and after the ages of angels. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now we remember all the saints who gave you to give you peace. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. You are the deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us so well by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it to the Lord. Ooh. 
Christ before us all into good, according to the individual need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air. Heal the sick, O God, who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind, of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good and life giving spirit, now endeavor and unto the ages of ages.
Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body of Christ. We 
have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. Worshipping the undivided trinity. Who has said Make us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life creating mysteries. Keep us in thy holiness, that all the day we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Us again, having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, the immortal, awesome, and life-giving mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, for so God by thy grace, asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peace, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. We thank thee, O Master, who love us mankind and the factor of our souls. Thou hast made us worthy this day of thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our paths, strengthen us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps. To the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos, the ever Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and now we are about to the angels of the angels. Amen.
Intercessions of our Holy Father among the Saints Nicholas, Archbishop of Myron, Lycia the Wonder Worker, of our Holy Fathers and Mothers among the Saints whom we commemorate on this day, and especially the martyr Andrew Strathelites and his companions in Cilicia, the martyrs Timothy, Agapius, and Thecla in Palestine, Peterim, the Bishop of Perm, our Venerable Father Theophanes of Gokariu, of John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he alone is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. His beatitude, the most blessed deacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, his eminence, the most reverend Paul Archbishop of Chicago and the Midwest. This God-protected land, its president and all civil authorities. The clergy and faithful of this holy temple and all Orthodox Christians. O Lord, preserve them for many years. rest, eternal and blessed repose, O Lord, for the souls of thy departed servants, Carol. 